At this time, we're going to do the high school student ambassadors. We're going to move the um, agenda around a little bit tonight. So we can do the ambassadors at this time. From Ad uh, high school student ambassadors from Advanced Learning Academy, Alexis Benitez. Good evening, President Muska, members of the school members, superintendents Tower and Rosman, the community members. My name is Alexis Benitez, and I attend at the Circles at the Advanced Learning Academy. It feels good to be back. This school year, our school has grown so much. We have the freshman, sophomore, and junior class. And next year, we'll have our first graduating class. This year, we as circle students, we're welcoming new ideas and new classes. For example, now we have our AP classes and honor classes, and of course, our regular classes. This year, the idea of block classes is being introduced, which means we only have three core classes uh, for, the first, for, the for the first three hours, and then after that, we have electives like AVID, Leadership, Engineering, Photography, and Speech. Also, we have Advisory where we meet in small circles and connect with other students. We have advisory because we want to feel connected with other students and share new ideas and learn more a little bit about the rest of us. But we cannot forget about flex, which is what makes a circles important and special. During, during PBL time, which stands for place-based learning, or as I call it, school without walls. We are focusing, our students and I, are, the students and I are focusing on learning about new stuff, but also trying to figure out what we're going to do. Uh, right now, we have been visiting the Heritage Museum and Art Museums. But for the, but in October, we'll be visiting the, we have been, uh, we'll be visiting the archives, archives and the repository tours, visiting Santa Ana history rooms at the OC archives, the Cal State Fullerton Special Collections, and the Oral Public History Centers, and the Southeast Archives at the uh, UC Irvine, to start getting ideas to make our connections for our research. For example, I have some ideas about what I'm gonna do. I wanna do about the Latino, do the lack of Latino doctors here in our country. Did I forget to mention Flex? Well, Flex is also what makes Alice, uh, advanced, um, I mean, Circulus special. Where this time, we're able, the students are able to make their own time to go to different teachers or a specific teacher and focus on certain things. We have uh, the flex sessions, as I as recall, uh, we go to different teachers. For example, today I went to with my math teacher because I really need help on my test tomorrow. As you can, uh, our, so we cannot forget that our students are taking college classes. Some of them are taking Chicano studies at the Advanced Learning Academy, and our juniors are taking Spanish 102 at Santa Ana College. As you can, as you can imagine, our students have a lot, and there's more to come. And you can, you can join us in our circle and follow us on Instagram at the circles underscore USC, USD. Thank you. From Cesar Chavez, Leonela Ramirez. Good evening, Board President Ms. Amesco, members of the school board, Superintendent Dr. Rasmussen and Mr. Tower, and members of the audience. My name is Yanela Ramirez, and I am your student ambassador for Cesare Chavez High School. Here are some highlights at our school. It's my first year at Chavez, and so far it's ha it has been the first, I mean, the best school I have been enrolled in because I feel connected and with my fellowship students and the staff. Chavez offers so many benefits for the students who are struggling with missing credits so they can um, graduate and go to college. One year at a continuation school is worth two years at a regular high school. These students weren't sent to a continuation school for being quote unquote ignorant or lazy. Many who judge the students at our school don't stop to consider that each student here has his or her own background story. For me, I got bullied and had depression at the time, which really discouraged me. This year, 
I mean, this, this, made, my, uh, this made school a negative place. Chavez has changed that. I am in ASB, and some new things we have this year are a brand new monthly video news magazine called Eagle Watch. Our, AVs, our ASB media team is working on a variety of stories, such as flag football at Chavez, increasing parent participation at school events, as well as my own personal documentary about the need for a better school tra transportation funding. Chavez has also taken steps to start a school-wide student badge program by wearing an ID badge lanyard, like this, <laughs> um, with, with that, we students can earn points to use at the Chavez Swag Store. Last Thursday, we went to a field trip to the Ocean Institute in Dana Point. One of our science teachers, Ms. Ben Press stated, the field trip to the, to the Ocean Institute in Dana Point exposed our students to the marine environment. They learn about the ocean chemistry, rate of the colonization of some local species, and also learned about the health of key fishing fish. It was a great opportunity to learn and appreciate this environment that is on the brink of harmful changes as a result of human activities. A student who attended this field trip also stated that she learned about the environment that what types of living things grow on the other side of the wall that blocks the ocean. She saw how the temperature was underwater, including the phosphate and the nitrate measurements. Overall, she had a fantastic time visiting the Ocean Institute. With that, thank you for giving me this opportunity to share what's currently happening at Cesare Chavez High School. Middle College, Jordan Avila. Good evening, Dr. Amesqua, um, members of the board, and Dr. Su er, <laughs> and interim superintendents, Dr. Rasmussen and Dr. Tower. My name is Jordan Avila, and I will briefly discuss Middle College High School's upcoming events. This past Friday, we had our club rush um, to present for a variety of the students. And they had a ton of options to choose from. And starting from Eco Club, a group dedicated to saving the environment, to Bring About Hope Club, a brand new club um, dedicated to supporting those with mental health issues. And due to our partnership with College Spring, a training program dedicated to supporting students and preparing them for the SAT, they have allowed our juniors to have their practice SAT test prep on Fridays instead of Saturdays, meaning that they will begin a lot sooner and have more time on the weekends. On October 4th, on college, for, on, <laughs> on October 4th, we will be having our college kickoff in which all of our seniors will be doing rotations all day and they will be filing applications for the UCs, Cal States, out of state schools and financial aid. They will also be getting support from SAC counselors, financial and the financial aid department, representatives from the Cal States and UCs, the Boys and Girls Club, and the NAC Center. This upcoming Friday, we actually have our Health Career Academy classes. And again, due to our partnership with UCI, Doctors for Diversity, and School of Medicine, we will be having one monthly class for our sophomores and upperclassmen to gain a greater insight into medical careers through the support of medical students, residents, and faculty from the UCI Medical Center. Furthermore, those who complete the program will go on to participate in field trips to the UCI Medical Center. In the upcoming weeks, we will also be having college presentations for AVID. Among those presenting, the list includes Mills College, UCI, Vanguard, Arizona State, Concordia, Academy of Arts, and the University of Tennessee. To also mention, we will be having our intramural sports flag football tournament on November 2nd in, our game, in a fo flag football game against Chavez, Lauren Grisset, and Advanced Learning Academy. May we hope to win. In ASB, we are preparing for our Halloween dance on October 25th with our theme being Stranger Things. I do not know much about it. Last year, we had our 100% graduation rate amongst the seniors. Um, for our middle college high school, our middle college 
high school slogan is to get everyone prepared for college and ready for college. And due to our 100% graduation rate last year, it is our primary goal to make that happen once again, but also ensure that underclassmen are looking forward to the process and also preparing for the process. As for seniors, we are hoping that every senior who applies to a four-year college gets accepted into at least one of their desired school choices. That is all for now on our upcoming opportunities that Middle College is looking forward to. We hope that this year is just as fulfilling, if not more, for our student body. Thank you for your time. Saddleback High School, Geraldine Venta. Good evening, Board President Amesqua and the members and members of the school board, superintendents, Dr. Tower and Dr. Rousman, district cabinet, parents, students, and community members. I have the honor and privilege to introduce myself to you as this year's student ambassador at Saddleback High School. My name is Geraldine Venza. I am a proud 11th grade international baccalaureate student. I would like to thank you all for inviting me here to talk about what makes my school such a wonderful place and what it and what it means to be a part of the Roadrunner Nation. Before I begin to talk about the great things happening at my school, I'd like to start by recognizing one of our Roadrunner staff members, Chris E. is our amazing boys basketball coach and someone who has impact, who has had an impact not only in our, on our team, but on our entire school. Coach Chris is part of why of the reason, why the reason Saddleback is consider, considered an Adidas legacy school. This means not only our girls and boys basketball are provided with custom-made Adidas gear and shoes, but the entire school is able to participate in events such as Adidas Legacy Night. And, and also visiting the NBA star James Harden's high school and being part of the Adidas family. Coach Chris was honored at last night's Champion for Character event, which celebrated excellent sportsmanship and outstanding character. Coach Chris embodies what it means to be a road, proud roadrunner and help students learn and live by those traits. We are honored to have someone like Coach Chris part of our roadrunner family. Now, it's time to start off with some exciting things that have been happening at my school. As a, as a Saddleback High School IB student, I am proud to formally announce that 100% of our coherent, hardworking IB graduates were accepted and attended for four very attend and attend various four-year Cal State universities and private schools. Just to name a few of the schools that they're currently attending is UCLA, UCSB, UC San Diego, USC, USC, University of Penn, Oregon State, and University San Francisco State University. To top, off, to top it off, 45% of our first graduating class also earned the IB diploma. In addition, the, in addition to the SAUSD diploma, as a current IB student, these successes have made me pr extremely proud of the International Baccalaureate Program at Saddleback. At Saddleback, back to school night was on August 22nd. We had an amazing turnout. Our ASB members worked extremely hard with various clubs, sports, and programs not to only showcase our school, but to, but to create an unforgettable evening for all of our visitors. Parents enjoyed visiting classrooms and to know this and getting to know the staff at Saddleback. Finally, to conclude my time with you all, I'd like to pers I'd like to formally invite you to attend the district wide school district wide college fair at Saddleback this Thursday from 5 to 8 p.m. Over 57 colleges and agencies will provide information and answer questions. Additionally, we will be hosting a parent and student panels where our guests will provide audiences with honest, insightful feedback about colleges, experiences, as well as a workshop for students how to handle stress and maintain a balanced lifestyle. It's gonna be, ex it's gonna be an exciting evening, so I look forward to seeing you all there and helping hosting you at Saddleback High School. Make sure to bring your cash because we also have, <laughs> have tons of food trucks with, filled with junk food. Thank you. <laughs> Sagerstrom High School, Noemi Portillo.
I'm a little nervous, so. <laughs> oh. Good evening, um, President Amesqua, members of the board, um, superintendents Tower and Rasmussen, and members of the community. My name is Noemi Portillo, and I'm currently a senior at Segerstrom High School. I'm very proud to say it. Um, as the beginning of the school year rolled around, Segerstrom Jaguars were ready to make this year the all-time best. Um, we started off with our traditional early morning sunrise, and it was very early, let me just say. Um, we celebrated with delicious food, and the breakfast burritos were as good as they sound. The dance floor was packed, and everybody was extremely excited to start off the new school year. Um, sorry. The, that same day, we had our first student-led assembly that was a great, great success and had a lot of participation from many of our students. Um, from the first week till now, we've celebrated victories, both big and small, at Segerstrom. One of the biggest events that our, brought our students together was our football our football game in support of leukemia for our very own Jaguar, um, Israel Escobedo, who is fighting for, um, who is fighting against leukemia. So we hope that you guys keep him in your prayers as he bravely fights. Um, one of the biggest, oh, sorry. <laughs> Um, since he is a member of our football team, the stands were packed at this event as everybody decked out in orange in support of um, leukemia and to show their support for him. Um, our school also went on to beat our longtime rival rivals, the Dinas, in, for the seventh year in a row, which was pretty great, let me just say. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> another great moment of Jaguar Pride came when we had Congressman Lou Correa speak to our students about his Young Congressional Leaders Program that gives students the, an insight into government. Um, this really helped our Jaguars because it, it gave them a sense of what the future is going to be like and how the world is outside of the routinely comfort of high school, if you guys want to think of it that way. Um, so not only was this a big show of support at Segerstrom, we also had our student, our senior conference, and that was full of different workshops that gave help to our students that you don't really get a chance to find anywhere else. And so our students were very grateful for the opportunity to be able to learn more about different schools and then the different processes that they will be applying to. Um, so nonetheless, we still had the fun activities here at Segerstrom. Sorry. <laughs> With the, our, free, our first Spirit Week, our free boba night at Boba Junkie, and our prideful celebration of Hispanic Heritage Month. We have already done a lot, but the fun isn't over. With this... With these fun activities, we've also managed to establish the culture of Segerstrom. New programs like Link Crew, which are, is a um, leadership or peer mentor class for um, upperclassmen to mentor all the freshmen that are coming into Segerstrom. And by having this class, we have led all the freshmen through, its, through the transition of high school and plan out interactive events like our Mario, Kart, Mario, Mario Party Relay, sorry, that's a tongue twister. <laughs> um, and the return of our weekly homeroom has come with a new level of spirit that our Jaguars have made their mission to make as engaging and as fun as possible. This along with many upcoming events like the first blood drive of the school year that is going on tomorrow, tomorrow, and is led by our Red Cross club on campus, um, which has always been a great turnout. Um, proves that our Jaguars are engaged in the community and care. Uh, we may be a little over a month in, a month into the new school year, but the Jaguars at Segerstrom are just warming up and are prepared for the best school year yet. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your evening. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much.